What's going on guys? Beast Mode 718 coming at you with a tutorial of Valcobot. Um, I'm going to go over a couple different things. Uh, this is just going to be a brief overview of the bot. I'm not going to go super in depth. It's just going to it's going to be basically an easy way for you to set up and anything more in depth that you need. Um, this will at least let you know like hey is this a little bit too much for me and complication wise or uh, you know, if you need anything more in depth, then go see Falco's Discord. But this will just be a brief overview, and uh, hopefully, just give you an idea of what this bot's all about. All right, first off, we're gonna go ahead and jump into your first page on here, the first tab, I should say, and it's gonna be your task page. So, for instance, um, let's say we got some Nike SB Dunks coming out. We'll we'll call them the uh, you know what the DCGs are coming out. So. Let's go ahead and create. So we're gonna to have to come down here, go to create. Now, this is the different sets that you're gonna be able to, to go ahead and create. So this is your Shopify site. You have a Supreme option. You have Adidas option. You have a Yeezy option, Off-White, and then you have your foot sites, which is gonna be Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs, East Bay. Um, so let's go ahead and come over here and we're gonna to go to, you can create the group name. Um, we'll go to DCG. We'll go to create after that create you click out of that and you're going to have shopify dcg is going to come here zero create uh created tasks zero tasks are running uh and also this is where everything you create you're just it's just going to line up in stacks like this so if i went over here created let's just say something uh it'll it'll just pop up and it'll just go row by row by row um so let's dig into it so there's that's what we want to we're going for that DCG. So here goes the next page. And this is where we're gonna start creating tasks. And we're gonna go ahead and start. And, and this is definitely, you know, something I say for even creating tasks, keep it, keep it like the same thing. Um, keep it like, have a structured way of setting up your tasks every time, just so you do it right. And you don't miss anything. Uh, so you can do everything right the, every time you do it. So I like to start from right up here and then just go straight across. So select the site, we'll say they're dropping, I think they're dropping on E-Flash though, Dover Street Market, US, gonna click that. Then you're gonna set up your uh, your proxies. So I have different proxy lists. Um, let's say I wanna run, I'll go ahead and run for this one. For the sake of it, I'll run local. Those are just proxy lists. Task created, zero, zero. So we need to figure out, okay, we need to create the task. You're gonna go down here, you have a create the task, boom. This is going to pop up now with shopify sites you're going to need keywords for the most part for some don't like kit and stuff like that you have variants and, and other codes but we'll just keep it very basic so we're here we're going to go ahead and put in our keywords so we'll go nike enter sb you can hit enter and you can see they're still there just scroll up they didn't disappear on you uh we'll go dcg enter and then we'll go with uh i don't know we'll go dunk enter so there we go we have our keywords are in place we're good to go you could also put your variants in there whatever you need uh you can copy and paste whatever you need to do size uh you can go ahead and hit random size on here with their foot sites that they've integrated into their bot we i've heard conflicting things that it is picking it up um as random size i have seen it but i'm hearing that it's not 100 percent dependable right now so it went in doubt you could just go five comma six comma seven comma eight comma nine etc so just keep that in mind that is for foot sites for these guys um definitely random size works so click random size mode this is going to be a hype drop we're just this is just a hypothetical situation here we'll just go ahead and we're this is just make believe here so if it's a hype drop then a uh, hype drop we're going to go ahead and we have the regular safe extra safe i'm going to be going extra safe mode and of course when you're going under these sites don't put all your bread and uh don't put all your eggs in one basket i should say i don't know why bread was brought up uh, but um if, if this is how you want to do it, you know it's a hype drop, it's always good to mix. Go have some extra safe, have some safe, and have some, you know, some regular. Sometimes there's even power modes and stuff like that in other bots, but we'll go extra safe for the most part on this one. Um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead, and this is for the shipping rates. I'll show you how to do that later if needed. Um, we'll go extra safe mode, and this is going to go ahead. This is for bot protection. If you know there's going to be bot protection, you want to have a very safe mode. Now, go in here, you're going to select your accounts. 
that you want to use that we're going to set up in a second but while we're right here we'll just put our test us account if you want to select all of them select all but for this one you can deselect all but do the same just go to test uh just go to test us if you need to uh, sign a specific proxy if you have a t uh, if you have a giant uh, let's say you have a resi list and you uh, it's just sitting there um, and you have a, a DC that you want to scout we'll go over that we'll call that a watchdog let's say if you want to assign a specific proxy I'll get into it in a second that goes right here uh, your delay uh, it's everything is Every one of their delays is going to be defaulted at 5,500 milliseconds. Force capture, that's a cool one to uh, to have. It's going to basically force the capture to come up um, if it's a specific drop where it's going to be, where you know you're going to hit capture on. Uh, you want to go ahead and if you know you're going to hit that capture, hit that because it's going to save you a couple seconds from that capture having to load up. This is going to be preloaded, ready to go. PayPal, that's for PayPal checkout. That's more specific to certain sites that you're only trying to, if it's, some sites will only let you check out uh, PayPal specifically, so that's that right there. We're going to go up to Group Monitor. Um, if you're familiar with TKS, the kickstation, it is the same as Watchdog. So the premise is you have, let's say you have 20 proxies, 20 residential proxies. But you don't, we could say 50 residential proxies. But let's say you, you're waiting for a shock drop. This is best use for shock drops, uh, Travis Scott's or anything like that that are, that are dropping. We have no idea what time. You could have a DC proxy or a resi proxy running all day, all night at, let's say, I don't know, 15,000 milliseconds. So it's going to be hitting this site. Once it picks up something, once it picks up a product, it's going to it's going to hit it and it's going to go ahead and activate all the others and they're just going to attack the site so that's group monitor right there and then it gives you a notification all server blah, blah, blah. so right here that's group monitor restock mode this is going to be essential for restocks balco eats restocks so the difference between restock mode and uh, non-restock mode is restock mode knows that it's already loaded and uh, the product's already loaded and it's going to just go after the sizes that's already there um, that's a basic premise um, of a restock if it, it's just waiting on the sizes to be loaded um, when it's not in restock mode it's going to go ahead and uh, just attempt to go off something it's more or less just it thinks that the site, uh, the product isn't loaded on the site, so keep that in mind. So we'll go to, so now that we have this, get this out of the way, we're going to go ahead and create our task. Right here we have a product, so our product hasn't been picked up. When your product prick picks up, because you have your, um, you have your, your words right there, so you're going to have your keywords. After it picks it up, this is going to go away, and your product will be right here. It should say Nike uh, SB Dunk, and then C, uh, DCG. It's going to go ahead and show it in like you know proper form. Your size is going to be put on here. If your size shows up, that means that's what was picked up along with this. So that'll be the specific size uh, assigned to it. If you picked it up, your profile right here, self-explanatory, and your status. Um, you have different meanings for your statuses. Um, not going to go too de too in depth with that. That's in your Discord. You could look up the uh, Balco Discord. They've been they have a very very good Discord. I mean, I just got uh, I had Phantom and uh, Phantom's Discord sucked. Like they are just awful with um customer service and like anything to do with like the layout back is so much more professional with their discord and a lot more helpful so just keep that in mind um if you need to duplicate the task let's say oh okay we got a whole bunch dropping uh, i want to get some more tasks going just click it duplicate it with this guy you're gonna have to hit shift and down duplicate it again shift down down and then so you have to click up there again shift down 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 duplicate boom and there you go and next thing you know you got eight so if you want to go ahead and mass edit this you can go ahead and come right here shift all the way down you're going to edit you're going to come over here let's say i want to go ahead and i don't know let's say i want to go ahead and force capture on it now we'll go boom edit and it's going to go ahead and over there now also you can do the delay um, but the delay is better off doing down there but or you can do let's say you want to add another keyword uh, you can go up here let's say we want just all right now I just want Nike we'll just put just just DCG dunk high and it's gonna be placed up there and then go to edit task boom and it's gonna go you just have to make sure you X out of 
the former, uh, the older, and then it'll go ahead and adjust. All right, so we're right where we want it. All right, so now we got, let's say we got some high delays. Let's say we started at 30, and now we're seeing the products dropped. So you would go to, I say you wanna lower the delays. So we get the one with, let's say 2000, delay override, and then we'll go. Let's put this in action so you can see. So let's go to, we'll start these up. You can start them individually, just like this, like this, or you could shade them. You can, you can start them individually, or you could shade a couple and start like that, whatever you want. Sometimes it's best to go individually. And there you go. So they're all started and they have, you know, they're going to be a little staggered. So you see the monitor delay is at 55. Let's say we want to bring it down to 2000. Click the enter button. It's going to re reload them. And there you go. You see they're down to, uh, to 2000. So that's it with these guys. Um, pretty easy. Pretty easy. You can go to the stop them. It's just a stop button right there. And, and that's about it. Um, that's about it with these guys. So we'll go ahead and from there, we'll go ahead and go on to the next. So we have proxies. Put this one in before it just says it. I was showing something. So to add proxies, very simple. You have your proxy groups. You can even add a proxy group. So we'll add this. We'll go to test. So here. So now we have our own proxy group, test group. To add proxies, I'm just going to put it in here. We'll just go. They're going to be our proxy right there. Just add. And this is just a copy and paste. You can just go ahead and boom. And we can go to add proxies and it'll pop up right there for you. And this could go ahead and be a giant list that goes all the way down. You could test your proxies on whatever URL you would like. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. This is just a proxy tester and you know, it also integrates your proxy group. So uh, here's your test test proxy right there. Let's remove it, boom, boom. Um, and that's about it. Um, that's it for that. Pretty self self-explanatory. Uh, analytics, this is just letting you know how much you spend. A couple guys got a couple uh, shoes on here. This is gonna show you what you copped, how much you spent, and total checkouts for you. Your capture, very important for one clicks. Um, to load them up, to go ahead and load them up, you're gonna go ahead and just throw that green right over there. And that means if you wanna make sure that in this row right here, your, um, your number one, your definite one click is gonna be. So it really should go priority from high to low on uh, your confidence level of you know whether you get more clicks or not. Um, not gonna go too in depth with these guys. We're checkout capture only and enable V3. This is more easy spy again. This is uh, more of a, you know, and these things are constantly changing too, but depending on when you're watching this video, so many things can be updated, but this is always gonna stay the same for the most part. To open solver, uh, that's fine. This is gonna open up another uh, your window for your, uh, your solver. Um, if you want your YouTube to be watching YouTube, it's gonna open up in that same window and it's gonna bring you to your YouTube page. Um, to clear cache and, you know, to clear cache and to your Gmail, this is all self-explanatory. It's right here, it's basic premise, but with Balco, um, they say that it's a order of preference. Like if, if something comes in, it's going to your solver one first. So whatever you want first, you wanna get that one click and work your way down. All right, profiles, not gonna go. Uh, Profiles I'm not going to dig into. It's very self-explanatory. You guys don't have to see my information. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. Um, you can go into it. So I'm going to leave that alone. Self-explanatory. No need for me to have to go over that. Let's go to settings. For adding accounts, let's say you want to add a, for concepts, let's go. We're going to go um, one, two, three, four at gmail.com is gonna be your account for let's say concepts. You're gonna to go to, you're gonna hit a colon and then you're gonna put your password in there. One, two, three, four. And you can select your site because there are some sites that you're gonna to need to have uh, an account in order to, to cop stuff. So concepts would be one of them. You hit that, add account. I think I clicked it. Yep. And if you come down here, this is it right here. So uh, it's nice and asterisked out. You hit this right here and uh, it's gonna go ahead and show all of them. So let me delete that before I forget that. Adding shipping rates. 
Um, this is going to be for if you want it. again it's just going to add the shipping rates in self-explanatory what site you want your account um, and your product link and then you're going to harvest the rate and it's going to pop up right here and then you'll be good to go and it's going to store in this section right here so very simple so it's going to right here harvest rate and it's got nothing right here right now if you want to just type something in rate harvest rate so everything would go right here in some cases it could be the difference between you copper not absolutely but you could say that about so many things but you want to get these items as, as fast as you can okay your web your web hook right here um, for your discord or slack whatever goes right there quick task profile um, that's if you're and hopefully the alpha gets a little better with their quick task uh, I gotta say TKS is quick task is the best um, when it comes to that with the bot spots that I've used because you could quick task all your profiles it's great um this guy is going to be this number right here is the size that you're going to be going for on your quick task and this is going to be your task that you're going to be trying to reach uh this is going to be your task that you're going to go ahead and uh, try to quick test so this wants to go ahead and pick up the best of the year profile so i put my profile and then i have my uh, suggested side and then um, if it fails a checkout you want to go ahead and retry that uh, retry that failed checkout after that to deactivate but by the way before we go to deactivate this is if you're running a bot out or anything like that or you're selling it this is where a deactivate would go so pretty self-explanatory i'm going to save your information here click save open paypal simple enough um, toggle shadows this is more um this is literally just the shadows that you see right here whether you want shadows or not so it looks all right this is all for the uh the, basically this is just how my bot is set up color wise um you can set up your colors however you want to this is you know completely just up to you this is just on the aesthetic of the uh of the bot itself check for updates bottom right corner cookies which is a pretty big thing you click the cookies um and this is going to be where your how many cookies you have you can see i'm slacking right now with foot sites um but they have a balco has an extension um if you need the extension um balco has it in the discord uh if you have the spot you know where it is um and uh, pretty self-explanatory you could uh it, it input it imports the cookies on its own so no complication there importing all is going to be importing all your information let's say if you are uh if you just rented it out and someone just uh, had used it for the week you get it back you want to make sure that you have all your information in that file alone and then the export all this is just literally a file that you're going to go ahead and ask, export and it's going to be just be a file and once you get everything back it's going to be uh right there waiting for you uh so you could load back up your profiles and your proxies and everything everything gets loaded back up and then you have your check for updates right here it's going to come up right here on the bottom right hand corner it's going to tell you it's up to date and that's it that's the gist of the bot nothing too crazy i got my tasks still running um pretty simplistic bot um and it's an effective bot but as any bot, it seems like some people get uh, new bots and they're a little overwhelmed by what's going on, but this is pretty simplistic. Not as simplistic as Phantom, because what is, and not as complicated as TKS, because uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's many as uh, complicated as TKS, but I do love TKS. Um, but uh, that's all I got. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and I hope it was informative. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the, the thumbs up. And if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Subscribe. Um, shout out to the Grop, uh, shout out to the Guap Drop. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get some more bot tutorials out to you guys, man. So uh, Beast Mode 718, and I'm out.